Hello my friends, William Poloniak here again from Whole Health Foundation. In this juice recipe, I'm going to be making juice with mostly zucchini. If you have a garden like mine, your zucchini sometimes gets a little too big and they're excellent for juicing. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut this into manageable pieces and mix it with carrots, maybe some ginger and some garlic. Let's go to that video clip now. If you go to Google and look up the nutritional benefits of zucchini, you will probably be as surprised as I was at how beneficial this plant is. Let's make some juice. Now I've cut my zucchini into manageable pieces and I'm going to begin making juice. Now it's a hot day in sunny Southern California so I'm going to start by cooling down my cutter and my feed tube with some ice cubes. And I'm going to keep track of the thermometer. I want it to be below 20 degrees. making my zucchini squash pulp and next I'm going to start on the carrots. of your produce there's always a little plug of produce in here so what you do is you take some pulp put it in and force that last plug. Now just for good measure we'll do that one more time got that thoroughly mixed and we're going to make some juice okay i'm using my six cloth less work method and the first thing we're going to do is advance it all the way back it off a little bit because we don't want this to go up too fast and while we're doing that we'll work on my last cloth full of pulp and our little tip here you want to place the pulp in here don't throw it in because it'll splash back if you don't want to mess on your body your clothing. I'll that a little bit more. And while that's juicing, my six plug, less work method, you do not throw away this pulp. You put new pulp on top of the old pulp. Two spoons at first and one spoon later when the patty gets too thick. Now I want to point out that toward the end of your process you only put one spoon of pulp because this patty is getting thicker and thicker and you don't want it to be too thick to put into the press. So fold as before, fold it into a tight package, the tighter the better, and flatten it down. Set that aside, and then again advance it. Put in one heaping spoonful of pulp, not two. This patty is getting very, very thick, so you won't be able to get it in the press if you put two spoons at, toward the end of the process. Put two more cloths in. Make sure that tray is centered all the way back. Back it off a little bit. And once again, I want to point out that on Whole Health Foundation Premium Juicer with the solid bottom plate, you can leave the press up for a minute or longer if you need to. And you get over 10% more juice than any other juicer on the planet, including a Norwalk juicer. I'm down to my last pulp, so I'm using a spatula here to get every drop of nutrition I can out of this produce. I don't want to waste anything. I'm going to take this spent cloth out. Put the last two cloths in here. All the way back, back it off. And I'll go ahead and fold the last plot. Now I've finished pressing 
all the pulp. So what I'm going to do now to demonstrate how much more juice you can get from a Whole Health Foundation juicer is I'm going to form the spent pulp into a tight ball and press it again and show you how much more juice we're going to get from a Whole Health Foundation juicer. There's a nice tight ball. And notice my folding technique. I'm going to fold it under like so and pull that into a tight ball and do that in two directions. Pull that into a tight ball and tuck it under on the bottom as well. Turn it over, flatten it, set that aside. And let's watch as I make one more ball. Pull this into a tight ball. Notice. And then we're going to turn it and tuck the cloth under to minimize any slippage because it's going to be under tremendous pressure. Holding that under. And we'll do that in both directions. Notice how I'm pulling that under. We'll flatten that. Okay, I've packaged the uh, spent pulp into tight balls and I'm going to press them again, but I'm using a measuring beaker now to see how much more juice can we get from this repackaged pulp. All the way back, back it off. I don't want this to go up too fast. Well, so far we've got three and a third ounces from one repackaged spent pulp. And remember, you can leave the press up for longer than 10 or 20 seconds, a half a minute or more. There we have five ounces from one package of reprocessed and repackaged pulp. So let's put two more in of the spent pulp that we repackaged into tight balls. Centered left to right, front to back, that's very important. All the way back, back it off a little bit. There's over nine ounces more juice from two of these repackaged cloths of pulp using a Whole Health Foundation premium model juicer. Now before I do these last two, this is actually too full, so I'm going to pour this into my container. And let's put the last two cloths in here. Let's flatten that really well. Centered left to right, front to back. That's very important. All the way back. Back it off a little bit. So we have three more ounces. It. Yes, I can. There's another five ounces of juice. So 14 extra ounces so far. Now remember, the last 10% of your press has the most dense nutrients and the most valuable nutrients. Seven more ounces of juice so far. Well, I'm not going to waste for every last thing before you get the idea. We'll pour that into the mix and fill my bottles. All right, my friends, I'm done with my juicing session of mostly zucchini, squash, carrots, a little ginger and garlic, and I have 5, 10, 15, 18, 16 ounce bottles of juice. And I hope you like what you've seen in this video, and if you do, please tell a friend. If you'd like to contact me, my phone number is 760 753-0321. My email address is developtrust at cox.net and my webpage is wholehealthfound.com. I'll see you in the next video.